this is a video on one of my favorite things. I think this is so exciting because this really is rocket science. Is um, how to derive the equation for the escape velocity for a satellite, or basically the speed you have to put a satellite up into space to keep it there. And what happens is you have the centripetal force of the object being held to, in this case, the satellite being held to the Earth by gravity and um, as it's spinning around. And, of course, you have your gravitation, your attraction between the Earth and the mass of that satellite. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use these two equations and we're going to set them equal to each other because basically your object will stay in orbit when the force due to the gravitational attraction between your satellite and your planet, we'll say Earth, is equal to the centripetal force. So you're basically balancing these two forces. And um, what I did is D is a distance between them, and that um, I changed the R in this equation to D. Sometimes you see R in this equation, so I could have R's. But anyway, I'm going to make FG, gravitational attraction, equal to the centripetal force. And um, now I'm just going to substitute the equations. G, M1, M2, over d squared equals m v squared over d and um, so m s is the satellite and m e is going to be the earth and you can look up the mass of the earth it's a constant so let's see what we have here a D cancels on each side. The mass of the satellite cancels. You don't even need the mass of the satellite. And pretty soon you get G M E over D equals V squared. And if you actually want to solve for that velocity, you are, and we call it the escape velocity, it's going to be the square root of G the mass of the Earth over d, the distance your satellite is. So what this really means is mass of the Earth doesn't change, g doesn't change, so they're constants, that you're just balancing how far your satellite is off the ground with the velocity it's going. And those are the only two things. So you can set a velocity any distance away from the Earth there's our Earth, and realize the distance is that way. Okay, so that's D. And um, you just have to give it the right velocity, and it'll stay in orbit. And that's why these satellites, some of them are very small. You could, like, I mean, carry some of them around. And the cool thing about them is they don't need propulsion systems, because once they set them up, they get them going the right velocity and they will stay in orbit, which to me is really fascinating. So today, this is rocket science. Thanks for listening. Bye.